Shemuel Rishon, 1 Samuel 15. Shemuel also said unto El Shaul, Yahuwah sent me to anoint you to be king over his people, over Yashadael. Now therefore hearken you unto the voice of the words of Yahuwah. Thus says Yahuwah Sevaot, I remember eth that which Amalek did to Yashadael, how he laid wait for him in the way when he came up from Mitzrayim. Now go and smite eth Amalek and utterly destroy eth all that they have and spare them not. But say, rather, slay both man and woman, infant and suckling, ox and sheep, camel and ass. And Shaul gathered eth the people together and numbered them in Telaim, two hundred thousand footmen and ten thousand eth men of Yahudah. And Shaul came to a city of Amalek and laid wait in the valley. And Shaul said unto the Canaanim, rather Canaanim, Go, depart, get you down from among the Amalekim, lest I destroy you with them. For ye showed kindness to all the children of Yashadael when they came up out of Mitzrayim. So the Canaanim departed from among the Amalekim, and Shaul smote eth the Amalekim from Chavilah, rather Chavilah, rather Chavila, unto you come to Shur, that is over against Mitzrayim. And he took Eth Agag, the king of the Alamakim, rather Amalakim, rather Amalakim, alive, and utterly destroyed Eth all the people with the edge of the sword. But Shaul and the people spared Agag and the best of the sheep, and of the oxen, and of the fatlings, and the lambs, and all that was good, and would not utterly destroy them. But everything that was vile and refuse, that they destroyed utterly. Then came the word of Yahuwah unto El Shemuel, saying, it grieves me that I have set up Eth Shaul to be king, for he has turned back from following me and has not performed Eth my commandments. And it grieved Shemuel, and he cried unto El Yahuwah all night. And when Shemuel rose early to meet Shaul in the morning, it was told Shemuel, saying, Shaul came to Carmel, and behold, he set up a place and is gone about and passed on, and gone down to Gilgal. And Shemuel came to El Shaul, and Shaul said unto him, Blessed be you of Yahuwah, I have performed eth the commandment of Yahuwah. And Shemuel said, What means then this bleeding of the sheep in my ears, and the lowing of the oxen which I hear? And Shaul said, They have brought them from the Amalekim, for the people spared the best of the sheep and of the oxen to sacrifice unto Yahuwah Eloheka. And the rest, eth, we have utterly destroyed. Then Shemuel said unto El Shaul, Stay, and I will tell you, eth, what Yahuwah has said to me this night. And he said unto him, Say on. And Shemuel said, When you were little in your own sight, you were not made the head of the tribes of Yashadael. And Yahuwah anointed you king over Yashadael. And Yahuwah sent you on a journey and said, Go and utterly destroy Eth the sinners, Eth the Amalekim, and fight against them until they be consumed. Wherefore then did you not obey the voice of Yahuwah, but did fly upon the spoil, 
and did evil in the sight of Yahuwah? And Shaul said unto El Shemuel, Yea, I have obeyed the voice of Yahuwah, and I have gone the way which Yahuwah sent me, and have brought Eth Agag, the king of Amalek, and have utterly destroyed Eth the Amalekim. But the people took of the spoil, sheep and oxen, the chief of the things which should have been utterly destroyed, to sacrifice unto Yahuwah Elohecha in Gilgal. And Shemuel said, Has Yahuwah as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of Yahuwah? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than the fat of rams. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because you have rejected Eth, the word of Yahuwah, he has also rejected you from being king. And Shaul said unto El Shemuel, I have sinned, for I have transgressed Eth, the commandment of Yahuwah, and Eth, your words, because I feared Eth, the people, and obeyed their voice. Now, therefore, I pray you, pardon Eth my sin, and turn again with me, that I may worship Yahuwah. And Shemuel said unto El Shaul, I will not return with you, for you have rejected Eth, the word of Yahuwah, and Yahuwah has rejected you from being king over Yashara'el. And as Shemuel turned about to go away, he laid hold upon the skirt of his mantle, and it rent. And Shemuel said unto him, Yahuwah has rent eth the kingdom of Yashara'el from you this day, and has given it to a neighbor of yours that is better than you. And also the strength of Yashara'el will not lie nor repent. For he is not a man that he should repent. And then he said, I have sinned, yet honor me now, I pray you, before the elders of my people and before Yashara'el, and turn again with me that I may worship Yahuwah Eloheka. So Shemuel turned again after Shaul, and Shaul worshipped Yahuwah. Then said Shemuel, Bring ye hither to me Eth Agag, the king of the Amalekim. And Agag came unto him delicately. And Agag said, Surely the bitterness of death is past. And Shemuel said, As your sword has made women childless, so shall your mother be childless among women. And Shemuel hewed Eth Agag in pieces before Yahuwah in Gilgal. Then Shemuel went to Ramah, and Shaul went up to his house to Giva of Shaul. And Shemuel came no more to see at Shaul unto the day of his death. Nevertheless, Shemuel mourned for El Shaul. And Yahuwah repented that he had made Eth Shaul king over Yashara'el.